Hey guys, I'm going to continue on with the last, uh, the last one of the last videos of when I would be moving back, I'd pivot off my back foot, and moving forward, I'd be pivoting off my front foot. Now we're gonna work on the side to side movement as well. So it's a very similar idea, but it's something that a lot of players don't do enough. So I think it's really important to emphasize this, get on a ball machine, and we'll talk about that a little bit, but the, the movement is something you have to isolate a little bit so, it, so you can figure this out. So when you're on the run laterally, side to side, the best shot you wanna hit is cross court, but you don't really have that option if you don't get behind the ball. If you don't get behind the ball, so if the ball is here and I'm over here, I'm not behind the ball because it's to the side of me and it's gonna be really hard for me to get that ball cross court because it's, it's not in front of me. So I need to get in front of it so I can hit it cross court or even down the line. I have options when I get behind the ball. So the best way to think about that is getting your back foot behind the ball, okay? So on my forehand, if I'm on the run, I have to plant my back foot behind the ball so I can rotate my hip through, okay? That allows me to have options on the ball. You'll see any of the pros, when they're on the run, they're always trying to get their back foot behind the ball. Novak Djokovic does it a really um, obvious when he's stretched out on a full limb and he's hitting his off his back foot and doing this kind of swing when he's hitting the ball. So if you can work on getting your back foot behind the ball, then you can use your hips and rotate through and get a lot more power than what you would do with your hands. So uh, back to the ball machine, I would practice where you have a setup where every five seconds or so you have a ball hit to one side or the other. So for example, if it's hit to my forehead, I'm gonna tie, I, the ball machine comes, I come over and I work on hitting the ball and get my hip through the ball and then I kind of go over here and take a second to think if that worked or not. And then pull yourself even more out wide, right? So I'm gonna go even further out wide and work on my footwork so I can get my hip through that ball. So you're not trying to make this a workout, you're just trying to make this isolated so you can think about it. Same thing on the backhand. So if I'm moving to my left side, I'm going to make sure I'm gonna get my back foot behind the ball and then I can rotate my hip through. Once you're figuring out that, then you can make it a workout where you can move, the, move yourself from side to side and as you're doing that, you're getting your back foot and rotating through the ball. You'll see that it works really well and it will help you focus on things that will loosen you up. I've talked numerous videos about how tightness in the upper body destroys tennis players. It really does. Getting tight in the upper body is really hard uh, to overcome. So if you focus on your lower body, your upper body should be a little bit, uh, a little bit looser, less tense. So hopefully that uh, will help you with your footwork, but overall improve your game. So have fun.